In this video, I want to talk about whether or not it's a good idea to combine the ATM Mini with the Atomus Ninja V and how that will change your quality of your setup and of course also what that gives you in capabilities. Now I was using this exact combination, the ATM Mini combined with the Atomus Ninja V for about two years and that was really, really cool because it gave me the ability to record essentially those four inputs, but I had to switch them live. So I was doing all the editing of my videos essentially in this device and it was recorded into one video file on the Atomus Ninja V. This specifically gave me the functionality of being able to record longer than 30 minutes from multiple inputs and have a ProRes file at the end. This meant that I would not have to invest into multiple Atomus Ninja V, but instead I was able to get just one or rather use the one that I already had and switch between different inputs. Now this comes of course with a bunch of limitations and there's a reason why I recently made a video about upgrading to the ATM Mini Pro ISO, which is the switcher right here, which is currently recording this video and I have linked that up in the corner so that you can check that video out. Now in this video, however, I wanna specifically talk about whether or not it's a good idea to hook up the ATM Mini to the Atomus Ninja V for recording. Now there are a couple of things that are extremely obvious. For one, the ATM Mini can handle four inputs of HDMI devices like for example computers, cameras, smartphones or GoPros and you can then switch between them and of course you can use things like for example specifically on the ATM Mini base model, you can use the webcam out for example for zoom and the like. Then of course also with the HDMI out you can send that signal to a monitor like for example the Atomus Ninja V. And at that, the Atomus Ninja V is of course an incredible monitor with its really high peak brightness, HDR capabilities, waveforms and the like. However, that's also something the ATM Mini cannot really use to its full potential. Now the Atomus Ninja V as a recorder monitor can record in ProRes. This is a huge benefit for, for example, this type of setup because it gives you the ability to then edit those files or that file much more easily on a computer, especially if it's not one of the latest and greatest Macs. Right now, I am editing my videos on the M1 Max and there I have no problems whatsoever with H.264, H.265 or ProRes or even some Cinema Raw Lite files from Canon. However, if I use my laptop from 2017, the Intel MacBook Pro 15 inch, even with a dedicated four gigabytes graphics card and 16 gigabytes of RAM, I was constantly having problems with H.265 or H.264. So that didn't work and that was also the reason why I initially invested into the ProRes recorder Atomus Ninja V because that gives me easier files to work with. However, by putting a ATM Mini in between, you actually get a quality loss because the camera sends out a really high quality signal. Usually these cameras here can go over 100 megabit per second. Specifically, if you are sending out 4K, then that is of course also even higher. Then the ATM Mini, however, that only supports 70 megabits per stream. And so the output here also will only be of that kind of quality level. And so then when you send the signal from the HDMI out to the Atomus Ninja V, you will record that quality that the ATM Mini can handle. And that is sadly by far not what the Atomus Ninja V could do if you connect it directly to your camera. However, that may not be as much of a problem for you if you are after certain other functionalities like for example increasing the record time limit of your camera, being able to live stream at the same time with the webcam out and you just want to have a recording which is high quality of what you are streaming. Now my personal recommendation would probably be to look into the ATM Mini Pro ISO because there you get the ISO recordings and if you need more inputs look at the extreme ISO at that because then you get eight inputs, super source and many more features like that. The Atomus Ninja V in that sense is then still an incredible recorder but not really that necessary. It's more a monitor or like for example right now for me to record the multi-view which the Pro and the ISO model of the ATM Mini also feature. Do you need something like the Atomus Ninja V if you have the Pro ISO model which records all the individual inputs separately? Of course not. Then you can also invest into a much cheaper monitor which for example I have in my teleprompter and I have a video about on this channel, I will link that up here and of course also link the monitor that I use there 
in the description below. That is a monitor which costs around 125 euros. And so in the combination of that monitor for 125 and the ATM Mini Pro ISO, you basically are able to record four inputs plus the program out plus live stream to YouTube at the same time, and all of that for under 700 euros, which is kind of insane to think about. Now for me, the investment into the ATM Mini and connecting that to the Atomos Ninja V was a great way to be able to produce more videos faster by live switching during the recording and then just taking out the parts that I didn't like or didn't need. That was a great way to improving my personal workflow, and it may be a great way for you as well. But just know that there might be smarter investments on the way available right now as I'm making this video with, for example, things like the ATM Mini Pro ISO, which will give you more features. Now that's all for now about the ATM Mini connecting that to the Atomos Ninja V. However, there's also the topic of the Atom X Cast, which is basically a four switcher input for the Atomos Ninja V. However, about that, I will make a specific video because I think there are a couple of things that you might have to take into consideration when looking at that product. And there may be smarter investments that you can make than the Atom X cast. Now, if you have questions about any of the stuff that I talked about here, you can leave those comments in the comment section down below. Check out the products. I will have links to those in the description below. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And with all that said, I hope to see you in one of my other videos, which you will find linked up here. And have a nice day.